actually given her money to take off. I knew Scott was in contact with her, taking her to and from work. I knew that he um, worked for the FBI. been trying to get a hold of you. Oh, did you really, really, really know how my daughter died? Listen, Actually. Uh, I already told you what I knew. I told you what I can and can't say, and I already told you what I was willing to show you. Now listen, we're not going down this road, okay? I know. I'm not doing it. I, okay. Okay, just talk to me, damn it. You had your chance. Listen, listen to me now. I couldn't let you perform those things on me. You know, you're really lucky I'm talking to you now, so. The only thing that means a damn thing to me is my daughter. Well, and I don't know where in the hell she ended well, up. Are you working for Jenny or against her? I'm working for her, but you have to realize some things that I, I think are important that you know are classified, and I will be in huge trouble if I tell you. So I have to show you. Well, I don't get it. What do? What can you show me, Joe? Well, listen, I gotta let you go. I don't get it. What can you show me, Joe? I'll see you later. Bye, bye. Joe. I've never murdered anybody. I've never done anything like that. Terry's not my son. You didn't win the lottery. He didn't go to Mexico. You know that much. So he's he's somewhere, I guess, hiding out in the United States or Canada or somewhere. Real convenient, Scott, that he's hiding out, that Casey's hiding out, that Jennifer's hiding out. I can't tell you anything about where Terry or Casey or Jennifer are. If you're going to ask me if I've hurt any of them or killed any of them, the answer is no. In late 2005, Scott Kimball once again became the focus of a Boulder County investigation, this time for check fraud. It was during the course of that investigation that the murders that Scott Kimball pled to today came to life. This is Scott's statement. I, Scott Lee Kimball, have pleaded guilty to two counts of murder in the second degree. This was part of a plea bargain arrangement. I am sorry for my crimes. I accept full responsibility for my role in these murders. I deserve to be held accountable and punished for my crimes. However, I did not act alone. What's the What's purpose the address? in marrying me and murdering my daughter? Pardon me? Uh, what would be, what the, would be purpose the purpose in marrying me and murdering my daughter? Uh, Scott's, Scott's answer to that, and, and you know, I'm very sorry for this, but it says that, that they themselves involved. In the There's absolutely no, absolutely no way. Absolutely not. There's no way. Absolutely. But thank you for that answer. That clears everything up for me. Uh, everything that was just said was just false. So there's no way she was supposed to supervise Casey. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just hoping to have some kind of a legitimate either apology. It said that he needs to contrive something that's so deep, it's ridiculous, and it's going to I asked me. Okay, I asked God. Okay, I asked Scott, okay, and I want you to understand, please, I'm giving you his statement, not mine, okay? Scott, you have a long criminal history of being a con man. That is correct. Um, are you a con man? Yes, I am. Are you good? I'm in prison, so I'm not that good. Some people say that you're an intelligent man, that you could perhaps have been anything you wanted to be in life. Smart. I'd agree with that. How good of a con man are you? Well, I don't know how to answer that question. Um, this is the first time I've uh, got a lengthy prison sentence, and I've been doing this for 28 years. What makes you so good as a con man? Uh, preparation. What do you mean? 
if you're going to do a con, you need to be prepared. You need to know what you're doing. People say that you are uh, a murderer. You are a serial killer. Um, you are cold-blooded. Any of that true? Um, well, part of it's true. I mean, there's part of that's part of it's true in every statement you made, except for the serial killer. I think that's just draws headlines. You know, um, the murder. Yes, I committed murder. I pled guilty to murder, so I'd be a murderer. Cold-blooded? I don't believe that's true. I mean, the part of the FBI's problem is they didn't have anybody that had anything bad to say about me as far as how he stole or he's a thief. Nobody ever say he lost his temper, he displayed violence, he was cruel to animals. That's never happened. Should people be afraid of you? No. Not unless they screw me over or they mess with me. Should people be worried that Scott Kemble, Hannibal, could get out of jail in less than 30 years? No, I'm retired. What do you mean by that? I'm retired. From what? I'm, I'm, I'm no longer associating with the, um, the groups or the uh, agencies or whatever you want to call them. So are you saying that you won't kill again? Um, I don't believe I will. A Colorado serial killer is accused of trying to escape from prison. CBS 4's Brian Moss has learned that Scott Lee Kimball will be charged with attempting to escape and solicitation for murder. We were there as a court sentenced Kimball to killing three women and his uncle eight years ago. He is now serving 70 years at the Sterling Correctional Facility. The body of one of his victims, Jennifer Markham, has never been found. And law enforcement investigators have eyed Kimball over the years in connection with other unsolved murders. Uh, well, I knew even prior to meeting him that he was a very intelligent person. And from interacting with him a lot, I, I know that he's very inquisitive as well. He wants to know exactly what's going on, uh, what is his current situation, what is law enforcement doing, what are other people saying. He's constantly asking questions. And uh, he's also very manipulative. Uh, he uses uh, situations, circumstances, and people to get his way. How effective is he? Very. He's a good reader of people. He, he is uh, quick to figure out uh, what makes people tick and what their likes and dislikes are. And he can, uh, he preys on people's ability to trust that people close to, like, people close to you won't harm you. And so he quickly gets close to people and takes advantage of that trust. It's going to be an ongoing investigation with him probably for the rest of my career. And in dealing with him, actually, he's pleasant most of the time. So uh, as far as the genius classification, I don't know that I can give him that, but I can give you the other adjectives I'm pretty comfortable describing him as. So, you know, after hearing the story of Scott Hannibal Kimball, you realize 